need to start video. Yeah! Ah! Yeah, oh man. The truck's a mess. But we're doing an install video today. The first thing we're going to do is the CB. I've actually already done the microwave, but we're going to show you the CB first. Alright, let me grab the phone, show you what's crack a -lack. I've got the CB. Oh, with some other knickknacks, obviously, there. But we're going to show you how, the, how it's done in the Cascadia. I've already taken out the screws here, which are these little star keys. Star. Focus. Focus. Anyway, I can't do it with holding the phone. Anyway, that is star keys, okay? You take all four screws out, star key, star key screws, and this plastic panel pops right out, okay? Behind the panel is your CB power and ground focus. Why would you focus? There we go. Power and ground, and there's also the cable for the uh, antenna. Now, on this truck here, if you look in the mirror, there's no antenna on the side of this truck, like in my old Cascadia at Werner. Apparently, the antennas are built in to the truck somehow, somewhere, and, uh, they're, they're not showing. They're, they're not, you know, visible, I guess, or whatever. So what I'm going to do now, first, you should always do, before you hook any power and ground up or start splicing any wires, is check to see if you've got voltage and where you've got it to make sure that the positive is actually the positive and the negative is actually the negative. Because if you hook it up backwards and try to turn your CB on, you'll fry your CB just like I did when I was at Raven. I thought that the green was the positive, but that shit wasn't. Oh, it also comes, damn it, it also comes with this bracket too for the CB to go, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and test for positive and negative here. See there. Got, it says CB power, so we're gonna the red up. And then the other one says CB ground. Ground positive. I should be reading. Yep, 13.2 because the APU is on. 13.2 volts. So the way they wired it is correct. So now all I got to do is splice, splice into my wires that I got here somewhere. Red and black. That's already spliced. All I got to do is hook them in to here. Put some electrical tape on them, or tighten down on this butt connector, it looks like, because it doesn't look, oh no, it has, it has been used. So I'm probably going to have to splice, cut these butt connectors off, and hardwire it in with some electrical tape, because I don't have any, I don't think I have any butt connectors here with me. We're getting there, people. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Also, wait, hold on. This bracket, before we go to the next clip here, this bracket will go to the sides of the CB like this, okay, like this, right, so those screws there, and then this bracket will attach like this, okay, so what you got to do is, you got to slide the CB, here's this piece here again, the plastic piece, for it to look right, you gotta take this piece of plastic off, which it just clips off. I hope you guys can see this. You should be able to. Yeah. Oh, and I had a great time at the house last night. I surprised my kid. We went to a place called Scene 75 in Dayton, Ohio. We rode goat carts and all that good stuff. We had a good time. But anyway, so now you got this piece right here. The CB goes through it. And then what you do is you hook up your thing, and you would 
uh, how did I do it last time? Hook the cable, hook the thing up. Slide this through. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna take a break, we'll be right back. All right, what we're gonna do now is I got everything wired up. Uh, power and ground, and I used electrical tape. I know it's a little ghetto, but I don't have any butt connectors. I forgot to bring butt connectors. I can't think of everything. I'm a human being. So what I'm going to do now, before I do anything, you know, button everything up, I'm going to test to see how my SWRs look with these stock antennas. Usually, never have a problem, but I've had a problem before when I got that new truck at Raven. The SWRs were through the roof because sometimes when they put these antenna wires in through the bodies of the truck, you know, uh, wires get crimped and shit, uh, make sure you're, uh, you're, it doesn't work. You get a crappy signal. So, I'm going to hook everything up and test it real quick and see what the SWRs look like. Okay. Calibrate, like, okay. Here's how you tune a CB. First thing you do is put it on channel one. Put it down to cow. Grab your microphone. Cow. On cow. Key it up. You're going to turn this knob right here. Not this knob, the inner knob. Turn it all the way to you get the, the needle to read right there at the arrow at the top of the bread. Then while holding this down, you're going to switch it up to SWR. Perfect. And the SWRs are less than one. That means this damn thing is on point. Perfect. Now let's do a test. You can also do it on channel 40 as well. This radio is peaked and tuned. I have been able to reach out about five miles one time in my Raven truck. So we'll see. Break one nine. Break one nine for a radio check. Break one nine, break one nine for radio check. Anybody got their radio on? Audio, audio, hello. ET phone home. I'm in, uh, I'm in Murraysville, Pennsylvania right now. May not be any truck traffic right now. Break one nine radio check. Hello, hello, hello. See, and also when I press the the antenna button when I key up, the antenna light does not come on. That's a good sign. Break one nine. Hello. All right. Well, it's working. Now we just gotta get somebody. So now I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna disconnect it real quick. We're gonna install it. We'll be right back. Getting long, I know. I'm sorry, bear with me. <laughs> yeah, all right, check it out, guys. Those two star, there's four star hex keys or with hex screws that came out of this plastic cover. Okay, behind the cover, like I said, was this bracket here. Okay, and this bracket has these plastic, these metal clips. Okay, don't lose these clips or else this won't work. Okay, they slide right on here like this. And then what you're going to do is take this bracket, you line it up like that, you know, facing this way. You're going to keep these side screws kind of loose for now until we get it lined up. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this, I'm trying to make sure that I'm in frame here, sorry about that. Put this on like this, you're going to line it up obviously like that and then we're going to put the screws in Ugh. this is going to be done before we hook any wires up so that way we can make sure it goes on correctly Don't lose those clips. It won't work without it. 
will not work. Nice and tight, okay? Once you get it tight, now we can make the adjustments on the back, like this. Just push this down, and then you're going to tighten these up. Okay? Simple and easy. And there's also two rubber, uh, rubber little uh, grommets, gaskets, whatever the hell you want to call them, on the back of the CD itself, right here behind this screw, so you don't want to lose those either, or else just be spinning, spinning your inches for no reason. Okay, nice and tight. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, look. See that? That's how it's supposed to look. Like that. See that? Nice and easy. Alright? On to the next step. Alright, guys. Once you get your wires connected, power ground, CB wires, nice and tight. You want to tuck everything back nice and neat as far as you can get it. Uh, also, if you're going to be using an external speaker like I am, what I did is I just hooked up the wire here. And uh, I'm not going to take apart the whole freaking top of this thing to tuck the wire away. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it hang a little bit. And I'm going to probably stick the speaker either up here or down there. Probably just going to stick the speaker up here. For now. So anyways, what you do is this. You take it, you stick it in here like this, make sure the wires are tucked nice and neat. And remember, you got those clips up here for the screws that you took out to get to this thing. So don't lose those clips or else it won't work. Kind of just give it a little push. Like that. Line it up like so. Where the hell is the screw? There it is. Get the other two screws. Don't lose them. Don't lose them. And it should go in like butter. guys that don't take the extra time to go the extra mile to do it right okay that's how it's supposed to look and then you put your uh, I'm probably gonna put the microphone here uh, well it's gonna be in the way huh I don't know where I'm gonna put the mic yet where did I have it the last time in my burner truck I don't remember probably put it over here somewhere I don't know I gotta find that gear keeper my friend gave me. When I moved, I lost a lot of stuff, and I can't find the gear keeper that he gave me. Cause that would probably be good in this truck. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. 2015 Freightliner Cascadia CB radio install the right way. Okay. Oh, thanks for watching. Oh, the microwave. Check it out. Went to Walmart. Bought me a 7.7 .7 cube inch microwave and I made it fit in there. I took the styrofoam that came with the microwave for the packing so I could lift it up off the ground a little bit so the door would open. And it's 17 inches from end to end and the cabinet is 17 inches. So I kind of had to give a little push and a little squeeze but. It opens up perfectly all the way. It shuts and it's nice and tight in there. It ain't going to go nowhere. So, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Comments below. Ah!